Rodgers. No about it now. This guy has to be in the All Madden team. We're about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Chargers. first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's caught left side to tight end Pitts. On the move past the 40. And he is brought down, but now before reaching the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play has him all the way down. And 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that winds up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed mark there with that throw partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They'll drop the throw. about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 
Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder. If he wasn't a first-round pick, they want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come back down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down. Good putting them to a short game.
Simmons was staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And then nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing Jones. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. try and throw and they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turn incomplete the surprising move here on the opening drive of the game and this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon first carry for James Conner Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a cardinal first down. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. To throw, it's Murray. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals are on the board first here this afternoon. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Oh, my God, do this shit to my favorite team, man. Fuck. You made me do this shit, man. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Pats at the line, ready to go. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to pick up the Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But this is Montgomery with a grab over the middle. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And the hole closes.
bounces quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Off the play fake, Jones. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Here's Jones. Going to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Patriots! Jacoby Myers from four yards out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. They'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marco Wilson. It's interesting that when it comes to two point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw it around in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. And they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The 40. Rondale Moore. And he will score. Touchdown, Arizona. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to go when you break the rules. And if you do. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He's at the 40. Past the 20. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now the touchback's coming back to the 25 instead of the 20. When guys fielded that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now... And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan manager, Will Peppers. And the Patriots will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Jones in the pass now with a first and 10 at the 45. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he's got some space here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That good for 22 on a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And some room to work. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, 33 yards. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead is now 21 14. Touchdown. And a 
fair catch signal for and take it successfully. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah. Now on the ground on just seven carries. On first and ten is counter. Oh, he's got a little daylight, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Cardinals. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another right, terrific the run there, the and this one finds the end zone. Man, well, we noticed the guy's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game. Let's stop this bullshit now. That keeps them motivated, looking for those. A tie game here in a back row. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The way it with the first down as they begin the drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. The right now. about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again. But my team we really know it's not that game. simple because Why did, we don't just make adjustments Why you at think? time if you're a good football team. You spend that time on good. the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments oh, and then repeat the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. Yeah, we'll find out here soon enough. Dibby's one of those adjustments no, you can't do defensively. Off play action. Jones. Yeah, but Dibby's hurt. You know you can't fucking do that. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. I'm going to fucking ball. I'm going to be back and forth, shit. This will be my game right now. This has been a lot like a tennis match, has it? Wow. Back and forth. Both these offenses have their way so far, so maybe the question isn't. And from their own end zone, it's a fake. And this is caught. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. Give them an even 20 yards there on the pickup. Is a fake punt for everybody. Now Jones on first and 10. Going deep here for Parker. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. There he goes, left side. I'm not even going to tap him, so he's just throwing shit up and hoping that she's going to tap him. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Pats will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point on the good night, Fulham. And they will take a seven-point lead. Are you just throwing shit up and hoping that she come back down? Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they allowed it, bro. Oh, shit. So I got real too, bro. The man is really been throwing his shit up. And they'll start this time just across the 30. I feel you, though. I can't knock the carry, bro. Oh, shit. Ready to go with their next drive. I ain't never seen shit about life, bro. The man is just throwing shit up. Oh, the man is just like quickly fading here in the second period. Not sure how aggressively, offensively they're going to play this. I think we'll find oh, out just shit. how much they trust their oh, guys fuck. in this situation if they decide right. to take a shot. That is funny, bro. I think got to do this for you, so. God damn. What the fuck, man? Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. <laughs> oh, shit. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Patriot defense has a touchdown. Oh, shit. 
Uh, well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense in a close ball game. Now, I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws um, a costly pick yeah, six. Bro. Yeah, he was trying to get the goal line. Picked by D. Oh, we're going to get that Oh, shit. You're going to get that guy. Oh, shit. You're going to get that guy. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. They find some open field here. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime. But the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. Brandon going. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead. I'm bad. 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 I'm Give him a couple on the carry there, second oh, and eight. Shit. Certainly a nice job there by the defense, rallying to the football, getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go and get oh, low. Shit, bro. Get into a ball sometimes, oh, and stack things up and make it difficult for the runner. Oh shit! Murray now to throw. Look at this shit. Every man about five about two on it. I think. Oh shit! Throwing on first down is Murray. And yeah, he's gonna get a solid gain of nine oh, before shit. being brought down. Oh, second and right oh, in the shit. yard. I'm bad, y'all. Better learn skate poker. Yeah. I'm sorry. 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 Why the fuck did I even be a loss of a three yards there and it also brings up third down. Running five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Five time to his left. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Murray and company going for it on fourth. 
I may be at the 40. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. All right, come on. <laughs> Five, feet three. Like he gave me question. <laughs> there is something to a game plan. We're trying to keep a defense honest. When you got that type of speed, you do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it. Man, and hope you can nick downfield. On that play, they run successful. Team, man. On second and ten. Jones. Oh, don't throw it. Throw it. <laughs> They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. It's stolen. Come on, man. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And a return across midfield. And into the 46-yard line. Still down quite a bit here. Several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start. Interception here, and look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception. They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Woo! This program. Remember how much you was up at What's the floor? Okay, third, third. The air, and the Cardinals oh, take shit. the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Prater for the extra point. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Pats at the line ready to go. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Going deep here for Parker. And this is knocked away and incomplete. I think it was a free play. Let's check the call. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. They'll try the right side with Harris. It's a gain of three, and it sets him up with second and just two yards to go. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's a third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. Jones throwing on first down. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Many times when the play breaks down and the quarterback's moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking, just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached, think deep, take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll work. is Harris and some space here and he's taken down but not before reaching the 10 yard line 98 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long first down and they go back to Harris stiff armed him call it a gain of nine there and it puts him in better shape here for second and goal Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now he's home for the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. The sneak successful.
From a yard out, and the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And this one's caught, and their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Terrence Mitchell. And nearly a touchdown as they...